All right, so we're going to show you how to do perforated or perf cutting or half cutting, however you call it, where it cuts through all of the media on your TrueViz machine. So this all starts with your artwork and I'm using Illustrator with the Roland VersaWorks color palette. It's also available for Coral. So I'm going to start by drawing a circle around our logo. And this is going to be our normal cut or kiss cut, however you want to call it. So we're just going to center that up and then I'm going to use the cut contour color from the color palette. As you can see there, it's got this stroke on it. So that should be all good for normal cutting. And then just to show you a difference between the two, I'm going to do a square for the perf cut. And this one is right next to the cut contour. Now you can see perf cut contour. So I'm going to select that. Again, that's a stroke. It has to be a stroke to be recognized in the software. You see there's two different colors there. One for the normal cut, one for the perf cut. So I'm going to save that as a PDF. You can save it as an EPS also, personal preference. And then I'm going to open up VersaWorks and bring the job into there. There we go. So in special items in the central column there, you can see there's two A's, one for normal cut and one for the perforated cut. If those are not present, then you need to go back to your artwork and make sure everything's correct there. So I'm just going to set this up in VersaWorks with a few copies. Just put a bit of a gap in between them. Center it on the media. As you can see on VersaWorks, it's also got two different colored cut lines, so everything should be absolutely fine to print and cut this job. You can add crop marks if you want to. So this is your print and cut section. So the cut conditions are grayed out because I personally like to set all of that on the printer before I move on to the software side of things. So if you want to do it on the software, you can. And then your perf cut settings are there. So the perforation length in force is the actual cutting through the materials. And the half cut length and half cut force are the bits that are going to remain to hold the material in place until you pop it out. So you may have to tweak those depending on the material or if you're using laminate, etc. But we're going to go with the standard ones for now. So we're going to print this job. I'll speed this bit up just to uh, not keep you hanging on too long. So it's just going to print the job. And then we're going to cut. So it's starting with the normal cut or the kiss cut and then following up with the perforated cut after it. So it does take a little while because it's doing lots of small cuts rather than one continuous one. It's moving on to the next one, the normal cut, and then the perf cut, but we will skip past the rest of these rather quickly. So I'm going to start off with weeding off the normal excess material as you normally would. So that leaves the normal cut in place. I'll do a couple, but no more than that. So that's the normal weeding done and out the way and now I'm just going to release the perf cut. So as I mentioned you may have to tweak these settings, always good to do a test before you do especially a long run of jobs. But that wasn't too much effort to pop that one out but you can you know enclose the gaps on the perf cut, you can increase the force on the perf cut but they weren't too hard to pop out. And there you go, all done.